Hi and welcome to The Honest Channel. I'm Claire Johnston, a journalist with an interest in all things anti-aging. And back in November, I shared some initial results that my husband David had experienced after using Callisim's stem cell derived hair renewal system for eight weeks to help treat his thinning hair. Well, we're 10 weeks on from that point, so 18 weeks of using the hair system in total and getting into a maintenance mode with it. And today I wanted to share his updated results with you but with the added bonus that I gave my 78 year old dad a few of the five milliliter bottles of the serum just before Christmas to try on his balding patch. So that was about seven weeks ago. Now, because I only had a few bottles I could spare, he's been using under the recommended amount. So I wasn't really keeping a close eye on his results. He was more just curious to give it a go. That was until he called me early one morning to tell me he'd woken up looking like Ur Willy. Now, for anyone not familiar with the Scottish cartoon character, he looks like this. So today, I'll be bringing you my husband's updated results, including pigmentation changes and my dad's surprisingly impressive results. And I'll also talk a little about the Callisum face creams, which my friend Charmaine used for a couple of months and which I've been using since Christmas now as well. So for context, and for those who want to hear more about the product, I'll link here to the previous video in which I talked through the instructions for use and my husband's early results. I also interviewed Ollie Tobin from Callisim some time ago to find out how the stem cells are sourced. The answer is that so far, all of their products have been sourced from the discarded umbilical cord of one red deer. So that would be considered to be ethically sourced. But you can find out all about it and the science behind it right here and also importantly the types of candidate that the hair serum should work for. For the purposes of this update it's just important to flag that there are no actual stem cells in the conditioned media used in Callisim's products but rather it contains proteins or growth factors that are derived from them and the idea is that they message your own cells stimulating them to behave as they did when they were more productive so reducing inflammation which is so important when tackling any downsides of aging and with the hair product that can lead to not only renewed growth but also an improvement in the productivity of the melanocytes which produce hair pigments. So there have been reports of grey hairs growing in darker with this serum and that does in fact seem to be happening for both my husband and my dad. Pictures are coming up. And with the advanced hair system, you get six five milliliter bottles of pink serum, which is the conditioned media, and you're directed to use it twice weekly at first over an initial six week period. You can also get a little dermal stamp, which has tiny prongs that you use to stamp your scalp in advance. And then you apply half of a five milliliter bottle with each treatment. We were advised to do that after washing and drying my husband's hair because obviously you don't want to wash the serum off and you want to give it plenty of time to work and hopefully be absorbed into the hair follicles. Callisum's advanced hair system is currently sold at £315 in the UK and I believe around $360 for the six week treatment in the US which is expensive. I've got a 15% off discount code for Callisum products in the video description which brings it down a little but it's still a big spend. There's also subscription offers and it's worth checking out the site because um, from time to time there are other discount offers as well. After the initial six week twice weekly treatment the idea is you do a treatment once a week with half a five milliliter vial so each box should theoretically last you 12 weeks instead of six but that's still around 100 pounds or slightly more in dollars a month. That was what my husband did and his results have continued to improve but the very good news is that my dad right from the start has only really been using around a quarter of a bottle, sometimes less, twice a week and has been getting good results which we'll look at very shortly. So my husband will probably now move on to just using a quarter of a bottle once a week so pretty much trying to make each box last us six months if we possibly can though that is under the recommended maintenance so that is just a personal choice based on trying to keep it relatively cost effective for us. Now for the results. Well, in my husband's case, as someone who started out, you know, years ago with really, really thick hair, and then that started to thin out around his triple crown, having used this hair system over time now, he has very solid growth around that area again. So this is him on day one of treatment, again, eight weeks into treatment, and then this picture taken today. 
So for David, the serum seems to have restored full coverage at the back. His hair is not as thick as it was five years ago, but it's still a very good head of hair. And while a couple of months ago, when my husband went for a haircut, his stylist didn't notice any difference, this time, just over a week ago, he went back and the stylist commented that his hair looked darker and was visibly thicker. So now we really have no doubt about the results. For my dad, well, I didn't take a picture on day one because I really didn't expect to feature him in this follow-up. But once he began seeing a difference, I got the camera out. Now this is him at week four when he was first starting to say his balding spot felt different at the back of his head. This is him at six weeks and you might notice how it's sticking up and a little bit fluffy and there's clearly more of it. And we feel these are really impressive results for him. So he's definitely going to keep going with it. And when you consider that's happened for him at 78, you know, he really is delighted. So we're going to buy another box between us and see how we go just using this sparingly. If people are still interested, then I can post an update on the community section of the channel in a few months and maybe do a little short on it too. Now, I did also want to talk about Calisum skin products because I gave my friend Charmaine a couple of products to try back in October. She used them for a couple of months. She's 41. She's a new mum, so she's not getting a lot of sleep. And she felt her skin was stressed and dehydrated. And being very fair skinned, she also had quite a lot of pigmentation. So this is her on day one of using Calisum's multi-action cream, followed by its restorative hydration cream. She was using it twice daily. And here she is two months later, and she really has noticed a difference in pigmentation in particular, along with hydration. Now, I've been using the multi-action cream since Christmas, which I personally prefer to the hydration cream. It's a slightly thicker formulation. The multi-action cream doesn't have hyaluronic acid in it, while the hydration cream does. And I found that ironically, despite the names, it was the multi-action cream that better hydrated my skin. We're all different. Others may prefer a lighter weight formula, but that was my own preference. And my overall feeling is that like the hair serum, the Calisum products are beneficial for skin health. That means balanced hydration, pigmentation reduction, which for Charmaine even held up throughout a two week holiday in Spain when she was using the products, where usually she would usually experience a darkening of pigmentation, even with sunscreen. Uh, but it didn't happen this time. So that did indicate that it was helping with skin resilience as well as being anti-inflammatory. So for me, this is about primarily helping the condition of your skin and reducing the inflammation that can age it more rapidly. I'm very happy with the way my skin looks at the moment, particularly in terms of hydration, which then reduces the appearance of fine lines. So I'll talk about my full skincare routine in a video to coincide with my 50th birthday in a couple of weeks. I have really simplified it and I feel it's paying off. So I've been using the multi-action cream over my whole face in the morning and then I use it on my T-zone at night and around my eyes and I use some adipo under my eyes and cheeks. But I'll go into more detail on that in a couple of weeks. Calisum also have a pink conditioned media serum for the face, similar to the hair serum, but that's probably best used in conjunction with either a clinical anti-aging treatment or even at-home treatments like microneedling to optimize results. But you know, these are expensive products and you have to weigh up the cost versus the return that you're getting, which is potentially improve skin condition, but not necessarily dramatic results with wrinkles. And whether a cheaper product maybe potentially using plant-derived growth factors, could deliver similar results. These are the sort of things that you need to weigh up. You can get a 20 gram pot of Calisum's multi-action cream, which is not a lot of product, and that costs 75 pounds or $85. Or the 50 gram pot, which lasts me about eight weeks, costs about 175 pounds or $200. My feeling is I would consider buying the multi-action cream again down the line because of the health of my skin right now. But my overall take is that because we only have early stage clinical evidence around products with growth factors, which is true of a lot of skincare products, and also because of the cost, I wouldn't necessarily use this year round, but it's the sort of the pr product that I may well come back to for periods of time, depending on what else I find out there. So I will keep exploring other products with growth factors to compare them and I would love your suggestions on that. A lot of the biggest selling moisturizers with advanced growth factor formulas like this one 
are more expensive. My mum is using One Skin's peptide moisturiser, also expensive. I spoke to one of their founders here a few months ago, if you want to check that out, but my mum is loving what that product is doing for her, her skin, aged 80. So I will of course do a video on her experience, but I also want to find out what do you use? Do you use products with growth factors that you rate highly? Because if together we can find lower cost and effective alternatives, it would be great to be able to provide a range of options to suit all budgets. So I'll be trying to do that in the coming months, but I could use your help. The hair system is definitely something that um, we'd continue to use throughout the year, trying to use it sparingly, to maintain the good results. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoy my videos, I would hugely appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button because it really helps the channel grow. Next time, Dr. Elena Saranova will be back for part two of our discussion about the so-called longevity supplement NMN and a couple of the other supplements she recommends for anti-aging. I've been taking them for a few weeks along with my mom and dad and we'll be sharing whether we've felt any difference through supplementation so far. For now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.